And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Fiora. This is going to be our next deck. This deck is just a, a very solid tier one deck that every time I play against it, I um, am kind of sad, right? Like every time I play against it, I'm like, oh no, I got to play against Shen Fiora because it's really good and, and it's difficult to beat and it's, it's difficult to play against. And so we haven't played it on our stream in a long time and I got some spicy ones in here. I'm going to be playing it with an Unyielding Spirit, because I think this is a really good card these days with all the Shadow Isles running around. I also just love Stand United. I think this is a really underrated card, and I don't see Stand United in these lists too much. We're, we're playing a couple of spicy ones in here. Um, also going to be playing a Spirit's Refuge to kind of help out the aggro matchup a little bit with having that Lifesteal barrier. Everything else is uh, pretty much stock, though, so... Trying out those cards right there. So let's go ahead and get to the games. We're going to play our five games in rank. See if we can keep ranking up. We've been doing really well today with uh, ranking up. And let's see how it goes here with Shen Fiora. All right, we got Shivana and Aurelian Soul to start with. So they, they could have... Um, this is a matchup where they could find <clears throat> the Invoke to be able to obliterate where um, an Unyielding Spirit may not be perfect against that. Let's mulligan the sharp sight and the bright steel protector. And I'm going to keep concerted strike. I think concerted strike could be pretty valuable. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to attack for five, or I can wait with a protector. I'm going to wait. Yeah, let's wait. <clears throat> Strength and grace, beauty in the play. All right, don't love that. Don't love that too much. So we're going to sharp sight. And then keep three spell mana up. Okay, no, they just passed. The eye of twilight sees all. Clad in shining sunlight. I find them unworthy. Will not take long. And I'm planning on just letting this happen. Sharp Sight does not save my Shen. Well, it's like, so Sharp Sight would keep it a lot. Like, basically, Sharp Sight would kill the. So I could pay two mana and kill their um, protege. That's what the Sharp Sight would do, which. I guess that's worth it. That's what I, that's what I'd be doing later on with like the sharp side and the tracker anyway. Like they just challenge my fleet feather tracker. Might as well do that now while we know that for sure that's go going to work. Mm, that Shen was really important though. You're covered. Yeah, Shen was really important. Well, we're just kind of chilling and kind of waiting on bright steel formation, I suppose. And, uh, doing a bunch of nothing. They don't like attacking. I have noticed. I'll defend these forests to the end. Nah. The heavens diminish without my attention. Well, spending two minutes to get rid of the spell shield. Makes no sense to do this. I don't know why, why, why I wouldn't just do this first. I'm sorry. My, how they stare. 
don't have a great chance. Now they can have obliterate card. I think it just makes sense to play the Bright Steel formation first, though. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I just play Shen, but then, you know, we just do Shen and, like, nothing else. This gives me single combat. Alright, actually, this is probably bad. The constellations bow to me! What I was scared of is I was scared of like them having another single combat, like them responding to my single combat with one. I, I don't do know why I should be should have been that scared of that. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. They obliterate some stuff. We deny it. <clears throat> Four and one. Let's see. I have five mana left with deny. Yeah, it's not it's not the best card to deny. But mana wise, I kinda need to deny over uh stand united so that I have concerted strike still available. Honor guide me. Enforced equilibrium. Our wills align. This works and kills the Aurelian Soul, then they won't have the ability to play zero mana celestial cards anymore. Gosh, they can play two spells? What do you have? They just unload their hand with other Celestials. Oh, or not. Now they'll pay attention. Fire and fury burn in me. Um Oh, that's over. All right, GG's a really in soul, super good. All right, back to fearsome. This fearsome decks pretty good, but at least it's not, you know, like a really in soul doing all sorts of ridiculous, powerful things. Don't want any of these four mana spells right now. Mm, I love this spirit's refuge. That could be really important to later. Um, so turn two, I'm not going to play anything. Let's see, let's do it like this. Let's go Leaf Feather Tracker. Come closer. Ugh. I don't bite. Ugh. Yeah, I think I just keep up single combat. I was thinking that they would have you know, like Mist Wraith. And that we would want um, Flea Feather Tracker to challenge Mystery. But... Okay, Bright Seal Protector means I do get to play Green Glade Caretaker also. Back. Strike 
quickly. Oh god. Cool. Alright, so far so good. Good start. Good start. I'm honestly a little surprised the Elise isn't trading. Because that Elise is a liability against Fiora. So I'm I'm honestly surprised they they're not blocking with the Elise. Love the sharp sight draw. Okay, I can understand why they didn't block now. Requires a watchful eye. Well, because yeah, they like, can't even attack with Elise, and it's just a liability. I guess I shouldn't tell them they can't attack. Block, 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 and barrier or anything else. No, we barrier this thing. Yeah. That one's over. Alright, GG's. You fought with honor. Hey, I haven't played against this Go Hard deck in a little bit. It's been a little bit since I've played against it. Yeah, that was a convincing win. That looked... Well, our hand was, like, perfect, to be fair, but that looked uh, like a very uh, convincing win. I guess Tracker dies to Go Hard, so we mulligan that. Um, Concerned Strike, I feel like, is really expensive to kill any other things, but Concerned Strike does help you get Fiora kills, so I kind of want to keep Concerned Strike just for Fiora, but... No, I'll go ahead and mulligan. And not leading with Tracker, we're going to be leading with Green Blade here. Maybe, maybe that just changed. I guess that just changed. I was really hoping I would scare them from attacking. River shape the land. My favorite champion, maybe Teemo. Anytime you win with a Teemo deck, it's really satisfying. You kill your opponent with like puff caps and stuff like that. So, it could be my favorite champion. I also, kind of the same with Katarina. Katarina is also another very satisfying champion to play. I pull the strings. They would fall by my blade. Stay away from my pets. So Gohard does two damage to Fiora, so if they attack with Elise uh, and we block Spiderling, they can have like Spiderling plus Gohard kill Fiora. Their hesitation. Oh, okay. So say their hesitation is telling me they don't have that, but they do. If I was them, I probably would have just attacked first, but this. Yeah, I think I probably would have just attacked first. I have no time for fools. <gasps> Alright, one fewer kill. Ooh, that's not bad, that's not bad. I am one with the land. Never lost mm. a fair game. Gold. Yep. Smart. Players. Protect Wanted to go protect her on that. They would fall by my but yeah, I wanted to, want to play Caretaker first. Twisted Fate pets. was the problem card. Well, that's alright. Now it's now it's gonna be pretty easy to kill this Fiora, but I mean we just gotta kill Twisted Fate, right? Like that's we can't let that thing level up. Ooh. Like a fish in water. <laughs> We can deny Go Hard. I know it trades down on mana quite a bit, but it does not let them put two more Go Hards back into the deck.
I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be killing the 1-1. One, one. It's being greedy to play the Green Glade Caretaker first. Nah, we don't we don't need to be that greedy. Let's play this first. River shape the land and give it life. So what spell is that? Basically, the Elise just blocks my River Shaper better. Is it Glimpse Beyond? Vengeance. Okay. Everything I've worked for. That's fine. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. These woods protect their own. I think you're right there, Devil. I think that is the correct term. You'll fight or you'll swim. Oh, that's a good card. And that's an annoying one to fight through for sure. You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. We play in build rules, son. I don't love my chances from here. They're going to be able to block Bright Steel Formation plus other stuff all day. Yeah, I don't, don't like my chances. Oh, burn two Gohards. Okay, so they had, they had four in their deck. And so that was two of them. So they have two more in their deck. I need Overwhelm. Mm. Could it give me a turn? Could it just give me a turn? I've had two Fioras die so far. And the Spear on the tracker just doesn't matter. I need I need to draw another Fiora. And Unyielding Spear at that Fiora. Unfortunately, they had their second vengeance immediately, and I didn't get to Unyielding Spear at that 9-9. Could have just gave me it just gave me one turn. You pay. I dumped those spirits. They didn't have ruination mana. Fiora. Yeah, this looks pretty over. for me too. Yep, this looks pretty over. I wonder if I could have done a better job protecting Fiora and therefore um I wonder if I could have done a better job protecting Fiora and maybe be able to unyielding spear one. Maybe. May save one of those denies for event you know, the one deny I had, maybe save that for a vengeance, let them play the other go hard. Well 
we'll have to get incredibly lucky to win this. Where do you stand I, I don't really see it shots. being possible with all their cards saying draw a card. Okay. Okay, one and two. All right, same thing. So, I've, uh, lesson learned from that last one is to really, really protect Fiora more than what I did last time. Um, let's. See. Hmm. We need to draw Fiora, then we need to draw Unyielding Spirit. Okay, there's Fiora. Now we need Unyielding Spirit, please. Be nothing left when I'm done. This'll send them running. Dreadway Deckhand's perfect against my River Shaper. Water changes but never breaks. Maybe they don't have Go Hard. I know I could say that for Fiora, but also this will just draw me another spell. You're in over your head. So we'll just be able to replace Use them. that, because I want to draw a Deny. I was hoping to draw a Deny, because I want uh, to be able to protect from Vengeance and Ruination. Yes, Unyielding Spirit, okay. Okay, we're getting started. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Two worlds, one balance. They would fall by my blade. Please don't have vengeance. Could have also passed and see if they see they'd like play spend some mana and then play Fiora afterwards. Okay. If they would have passed to me, I would have just ended the turn, but now I would pass and, you know, then they would still do stuff. It wouldn't be ending the turn, so I'm going to be attacking. And it was a fate's important to kill, but... So they've played two go hard so far. Like a fish in water. <laughs> awesome, that's not vengeance. I have thought about playing Nopify in here. Nopify would basically just be great in this matchup, but maybe not necessarily any other matchup. 10 mana would be really nice to have for a sharp side and then Unyielding Spirit. Deal me in. So the only thing that stops Unyielding Spirit is Grasp the Undying, which not very many people play. Yes! Alright, let's go. So now they're gonna want, like, Glimpse Beyonds. Awesome. Okay, we're going just straight to combat and challenging the Twisted Fate, of course. So I go. Try me. And just might as well get Shen to be two out of four. They've already played three, three Gohards, so uh, oh, next one is Pack Your Bags, which would no kill my Shen. Words. All right, so they have all these fleeting cards, so it's kind of on them to like spend their mana. Of course, we have Concerted Strike, Single Combat. This Unyielding Spirit was perfect. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. 
I think I'm kind of giving them more opportunity to draw a Glimpse Beyond, but I want to see if maybe they tap out. Okay, they tapped out. So no Glimpse Beyond, so we can just use the two fight spells. GG's. All right, two and two. So draw Fiora and Unyielding Spirit in that matchup. Do that. You fought with honor. Ooh, Nightfall. It's a good deck. This is you know, probably similar to the Fearsome one. We had a perfect hand against the Fearsome deck, and we won going away. Because of that, let's mulligan both of those. A little expensive. These woods protect their own. So I think right now I want to do nothing on turn two. And then turn three, go Blight Seal Protector. Because if I go Bright Seal Protector on turn two, they just don't attack. So I can go turn three bright steel and then single combat. Ugh. Then they have this mountain goat they get to hit me with for free. Like I said, I do have Shen My shield is yours. to give more barriers after this. So yeah, we'll all right. We'll play this and instead of taking five. Love it. So if they have, <clears throat> if they pass to me thinking about Diana Pale Cascade, I could have single combat to ruin that. Night flowers upon my blade. So like I could play Fiora still and worst case scenario, I single combat one of these things. <clears throat> to kill the Diana, or... No, let's just play the Shen. Of Twilight sees all. I was saying the Fiora would keep Deny available, but we probably don't need Deny available yet. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Devotion to battle! I will be heard! Shield up! Definite Pill Cascade. Understood. Well, I could single combat, so I could just spend a single combat to kill the Diana for free. I'm gonna wait with single combat and wait for me to have Fiora in play. They would fall by my blade. Also, it does allow me to keep deny. I'm not expecting vengeance, but I guess it's a possibility. All beauty is transient. Arise in our time of need. It must be all gone. Counter that. This Diana's about to level up. I guess I should have killed that Diana with my single combat before, but then I wouldn't have been able to just save the Fiora like I did. And got rid of the Pale Cascade that we knew about. Hopefully not another one. The full moon only tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! First kill for Fiora. Yuck. 
So those are both ephemeral. That's me going down to one. It's not very much. Hopefully no more unspeakable horrors. Alright, so next turn, so I have... Do you have enough for dragon? Such a fine style. All right, down to one. What do you say? Oh, be <laughs> that nightfall deck's pretty good. That's a good card. Enforced. Oh God. That's a good card. I can go barrier, single combat. All right, three kills for Fiora. Just need uno mas. This allows me to keep deny available. Definitely do not want to tap under deny. Can't have. Let's see what we draw. I, I can't. I can't do stand united single combat to go for the win and have deny backup. It's one extra mana. Cygnus, how I missed your light. Thank the mother, you're all right. What have you learned? <clears throat> okay, well that just kills me. So if they have if they have all that plus they have unspeakable horror. GGs, I suppose. We walk between realms. Oh wait, no, because I have the second st single combat, so I could respond to Unspeakable Horror with the second single combat. So we're, we're, wait, we're actually good. Because I'll go with this, and then if they Unspeakable Horror me, then I get then I get the other one. So I was still good. Awesome. Okay. Good job, Yora. GG's. Okay, so all winning records today. We'll take good rank up day. 5-0 and a couple of 3-2s. Let's see, where did we get to? We got to 118. Cool, we started today at like 160. Um, so, I think we started today around 140 LP. Finish up here at 250. Very good, and, and uh, yeah, so this is just a, a really good deck, this Shen Fiora deck. Um, really solid, definitely my kind of deck with the challengers and things like that and the different combat tricks. I really liked having the Unyielding Spirit. Uh, that one was was very uh, good to have. Uh, didn't, didn't do anything with the Spirit's Refuge. I guess we, we kind of did against the... Uh, uh, the, the Fearsome deck, but our deck looked pretty decent against the Fearsome decks in general, and so I think that, that could be um, a place where we can have some good matchups. Um, looks like a, a good counter to those things, but yeah, it did, it did well. This is a, you know, a solid deck here. All right, so that's that's Chen Fiora. Is there a prize? Um, so let's see. So there's there's a seasonal tournament. So um, basically, because they're releasing the, the expansions every every two months, and so then at the end of the expansion, like right before the next expansion, they're going to have a, a tournament. And um, so we have to be in the, to qualify for the tournament, you got to be the, on the top 700 masters, master players. And so this tells us our LP, that's not our rank, that's how much LP we have. So uh, like I said, we're in 118th place right now. So that's, that's in the top 700. So we're good. So we qualify it like that or, or the last chance gauntlet. Um, basically, the top, th the first 324 players to get like a seven-win gauntlet um, that starts on December 4th will also qualify. And I've gotten three seven O's so far, and so basically, whenever that gauntlet would start, I would start with three wins automatically, and then and then try to just and so it'd be faster to win 
theirs, but we'll just get it with the, the Masters rank. Um, yeah, and then there's a, a tournament. And first place in the tournament is like uh, $10,000 and uh, goes down from there. Um, looks like with the tournament, uh, it's, yeah, it's like it starts with 1,024 players the first day and then you play five rounds and there's, so that, that would cut it down to 32 people. And so the 32 people that go 5-0 and oh, then go to the playoffs and they're the ones that get paid. Uh, yeah, so you have to make top 32 to make money. But that's going to be something every two months. Okay. Uh, so that's that's Fiora Shen, or Shen Fiora. I could definitely play... So I'm for that tournament, I am planning on playing the Give It All Poros deck. And I'm planning on playing Tarek Draven. I'm, I'm confident in both those decks. I like both those decks a lot. So those are the two that I'm planning on and then i just don't know what i'm going to play for the third deck yet um i'm thinking about like the the nightfall deck is a consideration we could play um that that shen fiora honestly definitely could do the shen fiora because i like how i like having all different regions also shen fiora would be demacia ionia and then freljord pnz and then uh targon noxus so that'd be all different regions so that'd be good you don't have to have all different regions you just have to have all different champions um, but you can share one region so we we could play the nocturne nightfall that would share targon between the two of them but i think it'd be kind of cooler to, to play all different regions the last couple of days before the tournament probably like the last three days before the cutoff we'll do like one day of like poros practice and one day of like you know like we'll do a, a day of each deck practice uh, maybe we'll do four days with you know like the, the two decks that i know i'm playing and then maybe we'll have two days of like practicing some different stuff to figure out what's going to be the third deck there we go yep it's a good one shen fiora all right those y'all watching later on youtube y'all know the drill hit the like button and please leave those comments those comments help out the algorithms and i always enjoy seeing them too um, even if i don't respond right away i always see those and uh they cheer me up so thanks for doing that keep leaving those you got questions um anything like that leave them in the comment section but thank you so much for watching some shen fiora and i'll see you for the next video